ever gazed at the stars and felt their magic? Beyond their twinkling beauty, stars have a secret. They sing. This phenomenon, known as stellar seismology, allows stars to produce sound waves. While these sounds can't travel through space, they cause stars to pulsate. What you're hearing now is the singing of our sun. Captured with special instruments, this hum reveals secrets about a star's age and future. So, next time you're stargazing, remember, they're not just shining, they're serenading the universe with their cosmic concert. Galaxies not only can sing, they can dance too. By dance, I mean they engage in a cosmic tango, often violently consuming each other. This process, known as galactic cannibalism, sees larger galaxies, like our Milky Way, devouring smaller ones, absorbing their stars and gas. Our Milky Way is currently in the process of consuming several smaller galaxies. And in about four billion years, it's set for a colossal collision with the Andromeda Galaxy. Instead of a catastrophic crash, the two will merge, forming a new galaxy. Astronomers have playfully named this future entity Milkometa, or Milkdromeda. So, while our stars serenade us with their songs, our galaxies are waltzing across the universe, showcasing the dynamic, ever-changing nature of the cosmos. From singing stars to dancing galaxies, the universe never ceases to amaze. Now, let's talk about something that's truly out of this world, a planet made largely of diamond. Meet 55 Cancri A, located about 40 light years away in the constellation Cancer. This super Earth, about twice the size of our planet, is believed to have a carbon-rich interior. With the intense heat and pressure at its core, a third of this planet could be pure diamond. Imagine a gem that's more than twice the size of Earth. But before you get any ideas of interstellar jewelry heists, remember, it's a scorching hot world with temperatures reaching up to 2,400 degrees Celsius. Not exactly a jeweler's paradise, but a sparkling testament to the universe's endless wonders. From diamonds in the sky to a world shrouded in perpetual night. Welcome to TRES-2b, a planet where darkness reigns supreme. Located about 750 light years away in the Draco constellation, TRES-2b is known as the darkest known exoplanet. It reflects less than 1% of the sunlight that falls on it, making it darker than coal or black acrylic paint. But what makes this planet even more intriguing is its mysterious glow. Despite its darkness, TRES-2b emits a faint red glow, similar to the coils of an electric stove. This eerie luminescence is due to its scorching temperatures. Their unique characteristics make them stand out in the vast cosmic dance. Remember when we talked about galaxies dancing? Well, planets have their own rhythm too. In our very own solar system, there's a mesmerizing ballet happening right now. It's called a planetary resonance, and it's a gravitational dance between planets. The most famous of these is between Jupiter's moons, Io, Europa, and Ganymede. For every four orbits Io makes around Jupiter, Europa makes exactly two, and Ganymede makes one. This perfect ratio keeps them in sync, ensuring they never collide. But it's not just about avoiding a cosmic crash. This dance generates tidal forces, causing these moons, especially Io, to be geologically active. Io, in fact, is the most volcanically active body in our solar system, all thanks to this celestial choreography. From singing suns to dancing planets, the universe never ceases to amaze. But here's something that sounds straight out of a fairy tale. It rains diamonds on Neptune. Deep within the atmospheres of these gas giants, extreme pressures and temperatures transform carbon into tiny diamond crystals. These diamonds then fall like raindrops, settling into the planet's interiors. Imagine a storm where instead of water, glittering diamonds pour down. So, for all the dreamers out there wishing for a diamond shower, it's possible and it's even within our solar system. But a word of caution, you might need a really sturdy umbrella and maybe a spacesuit. Venture to our solar system's largest planet, Jupiter. 
This gas giant is home to one of the most iconic and persistent storms in our solar system, the Great Red Spot. This massive storm, larger than Earth itself, has been raging for at least 400 years and possibly much longer. But here's the kicker. We still don't fully understand why it has lasted so long. Most storms on Jupiter only last a few hours or days. Yet, the Great Red Spot defies this trend, remaining a prominent feature of Jupiter's atmosphere. Some theories suggest it's due to Jupiter's lack of a solid surface or the storm's unique position on the planet. Whatever the reason, the Great Red Spot serves as a reminder of the many mysteries our universe holds. And while we're on the topic of Jupiter, did you know it sings too? Not in the way our sun does, but it emits radio waves that, when converted to sound, create a haunting melody. Meet PSOJ 318.5-22, often dubbed the loneliest planet. This rogue planet doesn't orbit any star. Instead, it drifts alone in the vast darkness of space. Most planets form around stars, but not this one. PSOJ 318.5-22 is a free-floating exoplanet wandering without a sun to call its own. It's about 80 light years away from Earth and is relatively young, only 12 million years old. To put that in perspective, Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. What's fascinating is how we even detected it. Without a star, it doesn't transit in front of any bright background, nor does it reflect any light. Instead, it was discovered through its faint infrared glow emitted from its residual heat. Imagine a planet out there, wandering alone, glowing faintly in the vast cosmic dark. As we gaze at the night sky, we see stars, planets and galaxies. But what if I told you that the vast majority of the universe's mass is invisible to us? Enter the cosmic web, a vast network of interconnected filaments made of dark matter. This web forms the backbone of our universe, with galaxies and clusters forming at the nodes where these filaments intersect. The spaces between the filaments are vast voids, regions with very few galaxies. The cosmic web is like the universe's skeleton, providing structure and organisation. But here's the catch. We can't directly see it. Dark matter doesn't emit, absorb or reflect light. It doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces, which means it doesn't produce or respond to light. So, how do we even know it's there? Through its gravitational effects on visible matter. When we map the distribution of galaxies, we see a pattern that matches the predictions of the cosmic web. It's a humbling thought. What we see in the universe, the stars, the galaxies, all the brilliant celestial objects, they're just the tip the cosmic iceberg. Beneath it all lies an intricate web, silently shaping the cosmos. As we conclude our journey through space, I'm sure many of you recognise this iconic image. It's been featured in documentaries, textbooks and even as wallpapers. This mesmerising image is none other than the Hubble Deep Field. Captured in 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope focused on a seemingly empty patch of sky for 10 consecutive days. The result was a high-resolution image, so detailed that the file size was enormous, requiring powerful computers just to view it in its entirety. But here's the astonishing part. Those tiny specks of light you see? They're not stars. Each one is an entire galaxy, teeming with millions, if not billions, of stars. Just let that sink in. In this one image, we're glimpsing the incomprehensible vastness of the universe. Every dot, every smudge, every glimmer in that image tells a story spanning billions of years. It's a humbling reminder of our tiny place in the cosmos and the endless wonders that await.